Good morning, sisters. My name is Renee Newville Baker, and I will be bringing you this morning's devotion. Our theme for today is When is it appropriate to fast? Our scripture reading comes from 2 Samuel 1, verse 12, and it reads as follows. And they mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and for Jonathan his son, for the people of the Lord and for the house of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Um, I want to begin by firstly stating what is fasting and the importance of such an act. Uh, biblically, it means to voluntarily reduce, limit, or even to eliminate the intake of food or something that gives us great satisfaction for a specific time and purpose. Fasting is important because it is a means of getting closer to God. This can be done individually or collectively. Um, when, when we fast, it creates an atmosphere. It creates a deeper spiritual connection with God. Fasting allows us the opportunity to come into the presence of God. The theme asks... When is it appropriate to fast? As Christians, it is important for us to reconnect with God and fasting affords us this possibility. It is through fasting that we are able to bear our souls to Christ. Um, it creates the atmosphere for a deeper relationship and connection with Jesus. It is a time when we shut away all distractions and intune our hearts to God. Many people fast when they are in the middle of making a big decision, when they think they need spiritual guidance while for others when they need a refueling of the Holy Spirit, when they hunger for Christ, as one speaker puts it, what better show of strength but by humbling oneself before the Almighty? And we get this through fasting. Just as Jesus and others had done so many times in the Bible, we see where they denied themselves the satisfaction of basic needs for a bond that is indescribable. For just wanting to come into that inner circle of God. But um, let us think about it. Is there a wrong way to fast? Yes. Can our motivation for fasting be wrong? Yes, if its purposes does not serve that of the Lord, then our fasting is in vain. I believe that for fasting to be effective, it must be genuine. It must come from a place that is deep within you that want to come that want to stay that want to get grab hold of that connection with our father fasting effectively therefore must be genuine we go back to the topic that says when is the appropriate time? For me, the most appropriate time is when you need to reconnect with the Holy Father. 
when one wants to drown out self when one wants God to take complete control of our being when one wants God to be the director of our steps and our actions when we want to come into oneness with our creator when one wants to experience the awesomeness the awesome nature and wonder of God that is the most appropriate time <laughs> so I encourage us today I encourage even myself to make fast and a part of our regular routine let us set aside a time to cultivate a spirit of fasting a spirit of wanting to have that deeper connection with God let that be our prayer this morning Jesus Lord so we are going to bow our heads as we come to God in prayer and ask him to create that desire for fasting O oh, most holy and righteous father as we come before you this morning I ask that you humble our spirits before your throne Jesus son of God you are the I am you are the Alpha and the Omega mighty father there is none above you holy spirit so we bless your name this morning jesus help us to cultivate a spirit that is filled with the desire and hunger and thirst of wanting to be in your presence mighty god help us to set aside that time where we deny self mighty God for the closeness and comfort of your presence Jesus help us to develop the discipline to fast we have seen where fasting played an important role in the life of Christ so help us mighty God to develop that nature as we go throughout our days mighty God it is filled with different many obstacles it is filled with different revelations it is filled with many blessings and that comes only through your grace so let us Jesus continue to build upon that which you have given to us mighty God let us continue to want to strengthen that which you have freely freely given daily we cry out for more of you but do we actually stop to receive it we say we need to hear from you but do we quiet the thoughts in our minds to make this possible Jesus so often we try to fit you into our world in our schedule I know I'm guilty of that and fail to notice to notice that that is not possible we fit into your world into your schedule Jesus help us help us mighty God to set aside a time when we close out the world and turn our focus only on you Jesus the words of this song says it all for me and it says Savior I come quiet my soul I wish I could sing this for you this morning remember redemption's hill where your blood was spilled for my ransom everything I once held dear I count it all as loss lead me to the cross where your love poured out bring me to my knees Lord I lay me down 
Rid me of myself, for I belong to you. Lead me to the cross, mighty Jesus. In my solace, open my heart to receive you, Jesus. Mighty God, I beg of you, help us to see how important this simple act is towards our Christian walk. Strengthen our desire for your precious, for strengthen our desire for you, precious Jesus. Let us humble our spirits before you as we open our minds, our hearts, our soul to only your desires. Help us, mighty God, to find our way to the cross. Lead us, Jesus, as we continue to seek your closeness. Walk with us. Give us the strength to continue on the righteous path, Jesus. Yes, we may stumble. Yes, we may pause for a while, but we will rise as long as we hold our hands. So Jesus, lead us to the cross through our prayers, through our fasting. Jesus, we bless your name as you help us to grow deeper in you. Mighty Father, continue to have your hand upon our lives, Jesus. Heavenly Father, help us to see, mighty God, that there is no we without you, mighty God. Jesus, help us to daily, to daily seek your face, mighty God. Help us to withdraw into ourselves, mighty Father. Help us, Jesus. So that we may turn only to you. Mighty God, you, Heavenly Father, are the God of all impossibles. Mighty God, I do not know who this word is for this morning, Jesus. But I hope that it touch our hearts. It touch our minds, Mighty God. Heavenly Father, so that we may humbly come before you, mighty God, that we will seek only your face, Heavenly Father, through the application of fasting and prayer. Mighty God, let us be reminded that the simple act of sacrifice is all that you require. Jesus, help me this morning to put everything around me on pause and to just focus on you, mighty God. Help me, mighty God, Jesus, to make you the center of my world, of my life. Mighty God, let us regenerate that burning desire that we once had. I remember when we just, when I just decided to give my life to you. There was a desire, there was a hunger where I couldn't get enough of you. And for a while, that feeling seemed to have left me. But mighty God, as I beg for it to return, as it slowly returns, mighty God, help me to build upon it, Jesus. Help me to return to that phase, mighty God. For only you know the desires of our hearts, Heavenly Father. Help me, mighty God, to continue to seek you. Your word says, seek and you shall find. Knock and it will be open unto you. 
so I sit at your throne this morning, mighty God, and I bear my soul to you, Jesus. I knock at heaven's gate, mighty God, and I ask that you help us. Help my fellow sisters this morning, mighty God, so that we may continue to seek you. We may continue to listen, to hear your voice, mighty God, Jesus. There is no like you, mighty God. We honor you. We glorify you. Bless us, O Lord. Continue, mighty God, to grant us your peace. These are the Moses we ask in your son's name. Amen. 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 Have a blessed day, my sisters. May the grace of God continue to shine upon you as we navigate this world called life.